I first got into ASMR and I was just kind of like stressing about homework and just scrolling the internet and I was like, well, what the heck is ASMR? I kind of liked it and I started doing it on my channel. Hi, my name is McKenna Kelly. I am 13 years old and I am from Colorado. I am in eighth grade and next year is high school. <laughs> my YouTube channel is called Life with Mac. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Life with Mac. ASMR is a tingling sensation that you will get from hearing someone whisper or tap on items and different other triggers. This is a real Pokemon needle. It reminds me of when my mom used to like rub my back and give me like, you know, the goosebumps or the tingle down the spine. And it stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. A trigger is, ooh, so there's thousands of them. You don't talk normally, that's not like relaxing or sleeping. You just whisper. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to the bigger kids. She started them on her own. Nobody knew about the videos until she told us. And when she did, it was quite an eye-opening experience. I'm Nicole Lacey, and I am McKenna's mother. We were like, she's whispering and tapping on things and making noises and, you know. All right, it didn't seem to be harmful in any way, so we let her carry on with it. Everyone in my family thought it was so weird when I first started doing it, but now they're just like, oh, kind of ASMR, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> my favorite video I have done are my mood bugs and eating. It's where you eat anything like McDonald's to like seaweed, and you just kind of talk about your day or just eat in front of cameras. <laughs> I do my makeup the majority of the time, but for a lot of my interviews and for fun, my mom will just do my makeup for me. I love makeup, it's so fun. I just love eyeshadow, because I can feel like I could just be really, I feel like an artist. We don't want her to feel shameful about her body or being a developing teen. I think that's very important, but we do get some of that online where she shouldn't be wearing makeup. She is too young for makeup. We hear the comments loud and clear. We definitely want to keep her safe. She's just going through all the same things that other girls do. That should be all the editing. If nothing else, YouTube has given her confidence beyond belief. For me, as a kid, I feel like people think that YouTubers have like this super fun and cool life. But my life is pretty average. It's not different from any other kids. I go to school, do my homework, do my makeup. She doesn't have a schedule like where she has to record, but she'll do a couple videos. They're relatively short. After school, on the weekends, she likes to take days off for sure with and does things for herself or with her friends. My friends at school, they find it cool that they're friends with a YouTuber. It's been a learning process because I'm so young. I don't know how everything works, but I like doing YouTube and just having my personality show and just be crazy. I will be eating one of my Gucci shoes. No joke. I would 
call it a hobby that has quote unquote turned into a business. We're setting her up for her future. She definitely makes good money for what she does and how little of time is in there. But we just kind of tell her like, you know, what's, what's here today may be gone tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. She gets an allowance, you know, she get her nails done because that's part of the whole ASMR thing. That's, you know, important to her. She buys just normal teenage girl type stuff. So she doesn't get to go wild, but she definitely indulges sometimes. And my role is to encourage her as my child, encourage her business to grow. I mean, she's definitely making a good future for herself. I'm not sure if YouTube is going to be a job for me when I'm like 30 years old, but I'm gonna continue throughout my teenage years because I had other jobs that I wanna do when I'm older. I wanna be a teacher or an actress. My favorite part about making these videos is for people to watch them because my fan base is super supportive. It always gives me comments like, you've helped me through so much, like my anxiety, my depression, and um, I just do it for the fans just to help them live life and relax. <laughs> She's very into the fact that her fans tell her all the time that they turn to her when they're depressed or anxious and instead of turning to things like drugs and alcohol. And that's really big for her. I want kids my age to know Mac. You need acceptance and kindness, be nice to other kids and take the high road and live a peaceful, kind life. Is that good? Mm -hmm. <laughs>